Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be going through this. This is the Legoland Florida minifigure duffel bag that did not come in a duffel bag, unfortunately. Um, but we ended up getting two of these. These come with, I think, 500 pieces or something of each part. So we have 500 heads, 500 torsos, 500 legs, 500 hair slash hat pieces, and 500 accessories, roughly, uh, or more or less. Um, but uh, Kaylee is here with me today, and she's going to help me uh, go through these bags, which is going to be, I'm sure, a slow process. Um, and we're just going to watch a movie or something as we do it and uh, slowly sort through these. She decided to start with the heads. Let me show you that real quick. So here she is sorting the heads already, and uh, she made the mistake, I think, personally at least, of uh, going with colored heads first and now doing the yellow ones. But uh, this is going to be difficult. There are, in theory, a thousand heads here, um, roughly. Uh, that were opened up. We opened up two of those bags, and then I think I'm going to start with either the legs or the torsos next, because those are easier. <laughs> or maybe uh, accessories. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to go through these, and I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know what content there really is going to be, but uh, I guess we'll show you like a little recap at the end of when we're all done, and you'll see everything that was in these bags. Uh, probably no time lapse, so uh, you'll just see the next part once, uh, once I pick what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to go with these torsos first. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit thousand of them on a tray so we'll start with 500 oh wow 500 barely fit on a tray oh we missed one there we go <laughs> um, we'll start with these 500 and uh there's a lot of different colors here which is good but i'm going to start sorting these into these uh at least for now into these trays or whatever these are these little uh, uh drawers <laughs> and then uh i'll get to the next one but this is a cool one. It's a little iHeart Legoland thing. Now, I know this, uh, obviously, you've probably seen a lot of videos on this minifig bag by now. I've only watched one, and it was Pop's Block Shop recap one, and that was the only thing that I watched. So, I don't actually know what's in these. I really haven't been uh, been paying attention to anything like that. But, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to sort through all these now. So, here's all the legs, and uh, we're going to get to sorting these now. Again, I think we're going to have to do 500 at a time. Oh, great. A thousand does not fit on the tray. But, uh, all right. Here we go with the legs. Alrighty, so I finished up all the legs. You can see, uh, at first, in the first bag, there was a lot less variety until we got to, like, all of these over here. This was in the second bag that we got of legs. So it was interesting because uh, there was, I don't know, it didn't seem like a good variety. And the second bag had much more variety than the first one. Um, but the legs are done now. And then, uh, got a new stamp, by the way our new logo um i'm gonna now go to let's see what this is this looks to be the head pieces or the hair heads and hair i think yep all right so we're gonna go to this next uh i gotta clear this out of the way and then uh i'm gonna go on this and kaylee is still working on many fig heads all right let's do this all righty so i finished all of the head pieces like the hair and the hats and stuff and uh, quite a variety here as well. Actually, huge variety. Uh, larger than both the legs and the torsos, which I think is to be expected. Um, but also a little confusing. Like, that hair looks very similar to what hair? Uh, this one up here. And then, like, all those in there are singles. We don't have any doubles of those. Um, so I finished all this. Now I'll get on to the, uh, the two bags of actual accessories. And then uh, Kaylee's still working on the heads over there. <laughs> um, and then after that, we will uh, we'll figure out... We have to count everything and, like, I don't know, look into each piece and stuff, and then from there we'll figure out what we can maybe build minifigs out of versus what we just list as pieces um, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yep, here's uh, here's the uh, accessories. Let's move on to these. All right, so we got everything sorted. I managed to do all four or eight bags of accessories, torsos, legs, and hair pieces while Kaylee did the minifigs. <laughs> so it took a little while to do the minifigs. They're probably all mixed together still, um, but we'll go through them as we upload things. So now what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna create a brick stock file here. Um, and then inside that brick stock file, we'll upload these pieces and then we can see what we have. And from there, if we're able to, if, if it's worth it, we can build some minifigs with these parts. Um, I don't know if that's possible or not, but if it is, we'll try it if it's worth the money. If not, we will just list all these parts. So this probably won't be done all today, but uh, we'll get started at least. And then tomorrow, or for me tomorrow, or for you guys in just a few minutes, um, we'll see what the value of all this is. And obviously whether or not it was worth $1,400 for uh, all these, what, almost 5,000 parts uh, of different minifigs. So uh, yeah, we'll see. 
So Kaylee and I have started the process of uh, adding all these parts to the inventory and it's quite a pain. We started with the heads and that's probably why it's so bad because the heads are probably the hardest, I think. Um, but we started with, so those are done over there and then we're working on these here. Now, we're into this one problem where we have this head here. So what we've been doing is we've been finding the head on BrickLink and then what we do is we add the, the, the item itself to BrickStock and with the quantity and all that kind of stuff and the drawer number. And then we'll create this BSX file and that'll get uploaded to BrickLink. But essentially we were looking for this head and we couldn't find it. And I've asked everyone in Discord, I've asked everyone on the BrickLink Discord, haven't got it yet. Someone sent this and it looks exactly like this. If you hold it up, um, it's the same head, except if you look in the top there, maybe, that does not match blocked open stud. So unfortunately that's not the head, but that's the only one with this print. So I'm not sure what exactly to do. This will probably be something we set aside for a little while because I'm not sure how you can create new listings on BrickLink. I'm sure we can. Uh, actually, I know you can. I just have to figure out how to do that. So that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, we've gone through the, the process to begin adding all these parts to the inventory now and creating this uh, BrickStock file. So we're going to keep going <laughs> for tonight and uh, we'll see if we finish. We'll finish the heads tonight for sure. Probably won't get through the rest of it, but that's the benefit of it to BrickStock. You can just... Uh, save your file and continue wherever you uh, left off. So we're going to finish adding all these heads now and then uh, we'll get the torsos and stuff. All right, so I'm on the second day and pretty much what I've done uh, yesterday, I finished up yesterday, was I got all the heads in. I think I might have told you that, but all the heads are inventoried. They're in a BSX file. And then I just started and I've kind of gone through, I forgot to film a video right early on, but all the accessories are now in. Um, so those are marked in those drawers. And I'm starting to do all these hair pieces and stuff. So these are all in at the moment. And then I'm currently working on those over there. And then once we get through those, I'll continue on to the legs and the torsos. Um, and uh, then obviously I'll show you guys at the end what we got in two bags or two duffel bags worth of, uh, you know, minifig parts and stuff and kind of the variety we got. And I'll give you a closer look at all the pieces uh, kind of towards the end of this video. And then I'll break it down in the numbers and see, you know, what it's worth and uh, how many parts we got and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue on now with the other uh, head pieces or hair pieces or whatever you want to call them. And then... Uh, and I got all these to go. I would say I'm about halfway done inputting parts. All right, so Kaylee and I today took a lot of today actually and went through, and I'll try to show you guys these pieces, but uh, went through and put all of these parts into brick stock. So they each have their own brick stock file now, whether it's torsos, legs, you know, heads, um, accessories, all that stuff. So I'm gonna get a little closer here and kind of show you some of the parts that we got um, in the bags, but you can see quite a variety of legs here. I'm gonna try to go slowly over everything. Um, and I'll show you all this stuff first, just in case you're wondering what you could get if you want to purchase these. I'll put a link down below in the description um, where you can buy the Legoland duffel bags. They're consistently going in and out of stock. Um, so right now, if you click the link and it's out of stock, um, just wait a few days or a week or so. Like, check semi-consistently, and you'll kind of see it come back um, in and out of stock a few times. But here's some of the torsos here that are, you know, that were, came in the duffel bag. Uh, you know, obviously very uh, not not balanced out with what you're getting. Um, lots of the iHeart Legoland torsos, obviously, because this is coming from Legoland, Florida. Um, and then we'll head over to here, to kind of some of the head pieces, the hair, excess, or like uh, hair and hats, and, and I can't remember what you call them, but like headwear, I guess, or headgear, whatever they call it. Um, I've got, you know, variety here. We got these cool crowns. I actually haven't seen these, I don't think, in a set, um, but these are kind of cool. They have like hair and uh, a crown kind of built into them. I got some of the chocolate bunny head things, some chickens, uh, kind of big variety and stuff there. We got some flowers, and then we kind of moved to the accessories now. See, this is kind of some of the accessories that came with it. Baseball bats, axes, toolboxes, lots of skis, tons of skis, actually, like 130-ish skis. Some snowboards there, um, some pies, baseball bats, uh, lots of laptops as well, lots of rats, lots of cats, <laughs> and a few butterfly things. And then quite a variety of heads. This will be hard to show you guys. I'll, I'll kind of go slow over it, but... Yeah, this this took a long time. The heads were uh, were quite a task. Kaylee went through all the heads as I did the uh, the rest of it and sorted. And then, of course, finding the heads, a lot of them look very, very similar. So those are all the heads and stuff there. And that is all the pieces sitting there on the table, now ready to be put back onto the wall or to be put actually in the inventory. So I created brick stock files. So these are a few of the pieces that are not currently on BrickLink. Um, based on everything I looked at. So these head pieces, there's a few heads that are very similar to this, but what I actually ended up doing is I created a, uh, or added a new catalog or made a new catalog item on BrickLink. For these heads, we have seven of those. 
And then we have a few of these torsos here. Now they have torsos just like this, but they have back printing. Um, so this one does not have back printing, so we had to make a new catalog item for that. Um, same thing with this one, I believe. Uh, no back printing, but the front printing is the same as the other one, so we had to make a new item for that. And then down here as well, this one was a little different. Um, this one doesn't have back printing, but in the listing on BrickLink, it has printing on the side of the arm, the magenta arm there. There's some black stripes. Um, there is no black stripes, obviously, on these magenta arms. So I had to create a few listings on BrickLink. I don't know how long it takes for those to get like approved and stuff, um, but we'll see. Now, I'll go over some of the numbers a little bit real quick. I'll put a little thing on the screen. You can see, uh, for in terms of the amount of lots we got, total we had 256 lots, which is pretty good. Um, so quite a few lots there. Head pieces, you can see we had 64. Um, and that's, you know, the hair and uh, stuff like that. So 64 different lots there is a good variety. You can see uh, 1,065 total pieces on there. Just under $1,000 for that. And we ordered two of the... Um, minifig blind bags, or uh, not minifig blind bags, the uh, Legoland, the duffel bags. So technically we're supposed to have around 500 pieces per thing. Um, you know, so when you put the two together, it's a thousand. So we got more pieces than we technically paid for. And you can see the cost there, cost us about $280 um, for the two bags combined of the head pieces, the hair and hats, stuff like that. Um, and you can see it, it parted out um, for 3.4, or sorry, 3.54 times the price. And then for heads, we got 72 different heads. Um, now, this doesn't count the head that is not listed on BrickLink yet. Um, 1,026 pieces there. Cost, or a total cost, or sorry, total, uh, I guess, income profit if we sell every single piece here of like 578 bucks. Um, and then again, 280 per that bag. So that specifically for the heads didn't part out super, super well, um, but at about two times the price. Uh, torsos, we got 44 different torsos. You can see 979 torsos, and then we have, I think it was 41 of the other torsos that are not listed yet on BrickLink, maybe 48, um, so just over 1,000 torsos as well, and you can see that was about $820 without the others that were listed. When you add those, I'd expect maybe probably another 20 bucks or so, um, obviously depending how we price them and stuff, uh, but yeah, 820 dollars you can see just under three times part of value for the torso bags. The legs, we had 45 different legs, uh, over 1,000 pieces there as well, and just under $1,000 total. Again, $280 for those two bags combined at about 3.32 times part of value. And the accessories, uh, you can see we had 31 different accessories, almost 1,200 accessories, so we got quite a few extra there. Um, but, you know, if we count the skis, then we'll take out 100 there because the skis probably aren't going to sell, so uh, a little over 1,000 there, I guess. Um, and then $770 for that. So you can see not quite a three times part of value, but if we go to the bottom, like I said, 256 different lots to our inventory, which is great. Um, these are all, or maybe not all of them, most of them are brand new to our inventory. We have a very, you know, tiny amount of minifig parts in our inventory at the moment. So pretty much all of these are brand new. We'll probably be adding 245 lots uh, that are brand new to our inventory once these all go in. Adding over 5,200 parts, adding over $4,000 worth of pieces, Cost us $1,400, and you can see it's just under a three times part out value. Um, now, this was a pain to uh, go through all these parts here. These 5,000 whatever pieces in 256 lots took quite a bit of time because obviously there was no simple inventory to just go and, uh, you know, type in some sort of set number and then tell how many pieces you have. We had to go search for every item, every single print. And some of these are have some very weird things like... What do you call that thing there? That tan, whatever. Like, what do you type in to find on BrickLink there? So uh, it was, you know, quite a process, but we did find everything. Um, and then you see, like, down here, we got quite a variety of torsos that we just got one of them. Uh, we got some of those as well in the legs. Let's see where those are. Those are down here. Just have one of each of those. Same thing with, like, the head pieces and accessories and a few heads and stuff. But overall, pretty good. Uh, I think it's going to be worth it, hopefully, as long as these all sell. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps to uh, explain for any of you who had questions who hadn't seen this yet. Um, I think most people have. Again, I hadn't really watched anything. I've watched a couple things now since we started this uh, to this point. But hopefully this was interesting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, put it in the comment section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you all in the next video.